God spoke to me during this ECQ to tell you about my story and how a good, good father he has been to me. Last year, I went through a lot, heartaches, heartbreaks, and I really feared and struggled life-altering changes. I didn't know if I was going to make it, if I'll be able to move on, or if I'll be able to land a good job. So many questions. There was so much uncertainty within me. I felt like I was in the lowest point of my life, that even the smallest progress meant nothing to me. Until one day, God told me to give up my relationship with someone whom I really loved for so many years. I knew how hard and difficult it will be for me to surrender that person because in my mind, I really thought that he was the one I needed to define who I was, my value as a woman. That guy, I admire him in everything. Our seven years of togetherness was never easy. He became a big part of my life and hindi madali makalimutan lahat ng pinagsamahan namin. Although I never regretted those experiences I had with him because it became a lesson for the both of us. It came to a point in my life na sinusunod ko na lang gusto ko without thinking of the consequences of my actions. Hindi ako nakikinig, sarili ko lang talaga yung iniisip ko. Kasi gusto ko yun eh, and it brings me momentary satisfaction. Then one day, I realized that I can't handle the pain anymore. The very person I valued most has been taken me for granted. Sobrang sakit nun, kasi nga, lagi akong nandyan para sa kanya. I gave everything I can, but it seems that I was never good enough for him. I still believe that we both deserve the best things in life. And because we saw things differently, I thought that letting go of each other was the best option for us to grow separately. Yeah, I did feel hopeless kasi nga feeling ko nasira na yung buhay ko. I tend to overthink so many questions like, am I not good enough? Am I still capable of doing this? Pangit pa ako? Mahapag-asawa pa ba ako pag naghiwalay kami? There was so much emptiness inside of me. What finally made me decide is that the fact that I have enough. I had enough. I yearned to have that change in my life. I knew right there and then that I wanted to allow the Lord to maneuver my life because I knew He is more than able to give me a life in all its fullness. That I am allowing Him to redefine me based on His wonderful design for me and to shift the course of my life based on his perfect will and plan. I did not need to know what is going to happen and how things will unfold. All I knew is that at that moment, all I need to do is to have faith and trust in God, my Heavenly Father. As I positioned myself in the obedience of God, He did fill me with the Spirit and transform me into something that I could have imagined. He surely made me victorious in every battle. He helped me fix my thoughts on Him, that whenever I felt weak, His strength overcame me. That during the times of confusion and frustration, His wisdom and Holy Spirit guided me. His comfort filled me in a way that satisfied my soul and quenched my thirst. He guarded my heart that I desired nothing outside of His will. I submitted my heart, my thoughts, and my imagination under His power, making it all obedient to Him. These things became very important to me. Surrendering myself to the Lord was never easy. But He showed me His ways and He helped me get through every struggle. Another breakthrough in my life was when He blessed me with a great job. Although I wasn't the most qualified or experienced person for the job, the Lord favored me with that special position. I became the marketing officer and account specialist of a Christian company, not because of my own might and power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. I just held on to His promises of provision and unmerited favor in my life. Now, I know that this life should be lived for Him and not for anyone else. And that when God asks me to surrender something, however difficult, it will always be for my greater good. His plans are always better than mine. He alone knows how to bring me to the full life He planned for me, the best life I can ever have.
Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding, and in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. He is a good Father who leads us into good things. Let's keep the faith up and stay rooted in Christ. My name is Maine, and I am God's beloved daughter.